So you might have heard about the spike in the number of refugee claimants entering Manitoba. I only knew that if I reach the Canada, I will be safe. Hundreds of people, many from Somalia, are crossing the border from the States and into Canada every year. And many are risking their lives in freezing cold temperatures to do it. But why? Well, first you have to understand how refugee claims work, and it's complicated. If a refugee claimant can't get to Canada, they can be resettled through a government referral, private sponsorship, or a mix of both. But if you can make it into Canada, the federal government has a legal obligation to process your refugee claim. Normally, border services will decide if you're eligible, and after that, it's up to the Immigration and Refugee Board. So if people have a legal right to seek asylum in Canada, why are they sneaking across the border in Manitoba instead of going through the border crossings? Well, some people are more likely to qualify for refugee status in Canada versus the United States. And Canada and the U.S. have a special security deal called the Safe Third Country Agreement. It says refugee claimants have to apply for refugee protection in the first safe country they arrive in. But Canada is really far away from many of the places people are typically seeking refuge from. We have oceans on either side, the Arctic to the north, and the United States to the south. Many people fleeing their home countries arrive in South America or the United States and try to make it to Canada. And rather than showing up at a border crossing and being forced to apply in the United States, they risk their lives trying to make it to Canada for a better shot at getting refugee status.